Timber! By Bali Midway, released in 1984, is a game where you play a lumberjack who has to cut down instantly growing trees. I guess in this world, cultivating wood is made quite sufficiently. Much like with the last episode that focused on Tapper, Timber is a straightforward arcade game where the goal is to get the highest score by cutting down a certain amount of trees within a given time limit. Only that this time, it is the wildlife that is out for blood as grizzly bears keep showing up on the property to throw beehives at you, all while your employer stands back and watches, making sure you reach your tree cutting quota without getting even a second of overtime. Naturally, if you miss either of those two, you lose a life or a man's three strikes and you are out. Thankfully, you can gain more mans by reaching a certain high score, which can be done by reaching your quota with time to spare, and also by cutting down beehives mid-throw, though should you miss, those bees will strip you nude for some odd reason. I don't think that's how bees work, but uh, I don't know. Much like Tapper, there's also a short minigame. This time you have to stay on a floating log for a certain amount of time while it moves back and forth. While this minigame is quite easy, you can easily fall off by accidentally pushing left or right on the arcade stick, which will then only assist in your failure, as for some reason, pushing left or right will make your character not move. I don't understand. Unlike Tapper, however, there is a proper two-player mode where players can go head-to-head -head against one another or work together, and while there is no game mode stating one or the other, it all comes down to the question of pushing a tree on the second player or not, as doing so will gain you extra bonus points, so friendships will most definitely be tested. It's hard not to compare this game to Tapper. While mechanically, the game feels much more interesting and a lot faster than its predecessor, the visuals are just as jarring and the music and sounds are pretty much in the same boat too. My biggest complaint being the character that player one has to play, as he looks almost identical to the bartender from Tapper. Hell, he acts just as smug as the bartender does. It makes me wonder if there's a Bali Midway universe, the BMU if you will, where the Tapper bartender lost his job and decided to try his hand at becoming a lumberjack. God, this guy sucks. Look at how surprised he seems when his boss congratulates him on a job well done. And what does Smuggy McSmuggerson do? He stinks up the whole joint by acting like Mario after he gained a star in Mario Party. Even his boss wants to punch his face in. And what's the deal with these bears? Why are they so pissed at you? Is it because you're cutting down their forests? I mean, these trees grow so fast that it shouldn't even really be a big deal. But then I thought, it might be because of the bees. But for one, they are tossing the beehives at you. And secondly, shouldn't it be easier for them to get at the beehives with the trees on the ground? Or maybe it's because they are suffering from a bad case of roid rage because look at how buff they are. You know those muscles are natural. They are 100% juicing. The last thing to mention in this game is this thing, which apparently is supposed to be a bird, and catching it gains you bonus points, but honestly it looks kinda gross and I'd rather avoid it at all costs. Timber is a decent game. I find it way more enjoyable than Tapper, but that doesn't mean much as I'd still rather play anything else. I imagine this game is a lot more fun when you play with a friend, but on its own it gets dull quickly. Much like Tapper, this is a game over for me. Fun for people who might enjoy getting a really good high score, boring for people who enjoy good visuals, music, and more than just monotonous gameplay. <sighs> Let's make the next game something a bit more exciting, please.